Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Before I begin, like the video, put on your notification so you know when my up next video uploads. And if you like the video, come down in the comments also, section. Also, I'm going to need y'all to subscribe too, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Hey everybody, this is my things that stood out for me. This is um my little, I guess, insight before I start reviewing once the couples get on the honeymoon. I don't like to review them getting prepared for their wedding or their wedding part because... It, they not really getting to know each other. They, this is their representatives at this point. So it's just like you just regurgitating what's happening in the scene. So I don't really like to review that part of Married at First Sight. So this is my cliff notes of what happened prior to the honeymoon. So we're going to start. Dominique and McKinley. We find out that McKinley was cheated on. His girlfriend actually got engaged while they were still together. This leads me to believe, will he be bringing baggage and trust issues into this relationship? Dominique says she wants a serious, committed relationship. We find out that he's 34 and she's 25 and that she requested an older man. So she says she's fine with his age. At one point in the confessional, they asked her what her husband's name was and she couldn't remember his name. Which means she was not paying attention at the ceremony to what her husband's name was. I felt that this couple look awkward together after this ceremony and they sit down and have their champagne. Um, I felt like they felt awkward together. They didn't really know what questions to ask each other. They asked basic questions. They didn't really have no conversations. Um, they didn't look like, you know, there was any chemistry. Although Dominique and her confession says she's attracted to her husband and things like that. But it didn't look like, you know, they were really feeling each other. Um, another thing that stood out to me was when Dominique went to talk to McKinley's mother and sister. She asked them, well, she basically told them that, you know, her growing up in the South as a biracial child has been tough on her. Now, she didn't ask them a question, so I don't know if she was looking for them to say, like, we're okay with, you know, biracial intermixing of couples. But the mother just says, no, you're getting married. It's different. She totally avoided saying anything about race. Then we had Dominique's mother and the grand, her grandmother talking to McKinley and she also brings up race and, you know, um, Dominique being biracial. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a thing that plays out with this couple, but it was just kind of weird, especially since we're living in a time where biracial couples are together. Yes, there's still racism, but I don't know if this should have been a big issue at the wedding. Lastly, I wonder if the age difference is going to 